and I'm bad like the Barbie. I'm a dog, but I still wanna party. Pink feel like I'm ready to bend. I'm a ten, so I pull in a can. Like Jazzy, Stacy, Ricky, all of the Barbies is pretty. Damn, all of the Barbies is bad. It girls, and we ain't playing tag. So lunch was ready. Good. I slam that down. I try to be really respectful with my camera when I'm in there because I know some people don't want to be filmed while they're going through their recovery. It seems like a lot of high quality women are in there healing. That's a plus. My elevator is here. I love their elevator. It's so cute. I'm going to go to my room real quick and get my bathing suit since I left it. And then I'm going to go up and hang out by the pool and get a little bit of footage. The security guard gets there around 5 p.m. So I'm going to try to get some footage in before he gets there. My stomach, oh my god, I'm so excited. My stomach is huge right now. I've been trying to gain as much weight as possible. The girls in there seem real high quality and I was just trying to be respectful by not having my phone all in everyone's face. My hair is really bumpy in the back. Like, super, super bumpy in the back. The perm's this way. I don't know why my hair is so bumpy in the back. Like, I swear it straightened it. I've been trying not to put too much heat on it though, so. Possibly why. <clears throat> Bumpy like that. Trying to be respectful of my camera and I have my camera in everybody's face and just let everyone heal. It's really quiet in there and that's what I really like. I know some people on oh, my door. <clears throat> I know some people's recovery houses, like there's women screaming all over the place and it's, look, it's like very hospital-like. So that's one thing I really like about my recovery house is bro, I basically got my own apartment here. <clears throat> the only thing I was complaining about earlier is that I wish I could have had more recovery days here. Like I didn't really come here to hang out in the apartment and by the pool. My apartment and my pool in Dallas is really nice. So I wish like, he, uh, you know, I would have been letting known like, you know, if you come during the weekend, you won't, you know, have any blood testing. Everything's gonna have to wait till Monday, and then your surgery won't be till that following Tuesday. Because what it sounded like is my surgery is not even gonna be on the third; it's gonna be on the fourth. And I wish I would have known that because I would have just waited to book my flight and everything Monday. I would have been here Monday and had my surgery Tuesday, <laughs> and got to oh sorry, have more recovery time. <clears throat> but I'm really mad at my hair because it looks straight, but it's like not straight in the back. It's like all wavy. That's what it looked like in the um, elevator. But girl, let me put on my bathing suit and get ready to go hang out by the pool. I'm buzzing, let's drink up. Your death look like big fun. Come on, let's get it on. Like that one, fin gay some. I'm stunning, you love it. Come on, give me something. I know that you want it. Come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we. So maybe you should leave. is young and so are we baby the night is young so let's have some fun if you love me right yeah this could be the summer of our lives now honey give it to me like you know you should now baby this could be the summer of our lives the summer of our lives what's pop back and dropping honey it's your girl checking in with you i just woke up not too long ago and jumped in the shower so nervous so nervous i'm preparing my bag for my surgery i literally just found out that my surgery is today i thought i was only having blood tests today but girl no i'm getting my surgery today so i'm about to prepare my bag my floaty got blew up for my oh i'm not showing no titties my nurse aired up my avocado bed for me so now i'm just gonna pack my bag up get all my stuff ready i'm leaving most of my stuff here i remember last time when i was at the hospital all i really needed was my hippo cleanse so i'm taking my hippo cleanse and lots of hope and lots of prayers. I'm gonna hit y'all up when I'm done packing my bag. All right, y'all, so I look a hot mess, but it's okay, I don't really care. <laughs> I braided my hair last night thinking that was gonna do something, but it didn't. I think that's my driver there. I don't know. Yeah, it is, yeah. So I'm gonna go to my first appointment and I'll check in with y'all when I get there.
Entonces, Alexandra. Eh, ya terminó su punto, sería en la tarde de Okay, all the okay. place. Okay. Okay, I will give you the money and the indication. Okay? Okay. But first, uh, this is... Hola. Wait, is this for me? Uh, no, it's for Oh, me. I was like, okay, <laughs> give me money back. Yay. <laughs> oh, and this here, let me finish. Now, um, is it still the same way after the surgery? Yeah. I stay in the hospital for like a couple hours and then I go to my recovery house? 24 hours. 24 hours? Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Already. And is there something that I have to pay for while I'm, I don't, um, I don't remember, but is there anything I have to I'll pay for while so. I'm, no? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, only if the cardiologist see that you have something, okay? Mm -hmm. Maybe it will give you to the um, echocardiogram. Okay, okay. okay. blood work done I just finished my blood test at the last place and everything came out good I think this is the cardiovascular place I'm not really sure um, oh no it's radiology radiology so yeah I'm gonna finish this test and then I have one more place to go and then after that I have to go back to the clinic and then they're gonna give me my time for my surgery tomorrow so I'm gonna check out with y'all when I get to I think it's called Girl, I need to get better at my Spanish. Like, I'm Cuban American, and when I come to foreign places that speak Spanish, that's when I finally realize like how American I am. So yeah, but I'm gonna see y'all soon. I'll check in with y'all when I get there. Okay. Uh. Yes.
Cigarettes, uh, weed. hookah, weed, mm -hmm. sometimes. I smoke weed a lot every day, uh, every but day. with papers. Oh, okay, okay. Um, do you have um, some condition, health condition, high, like high blood pressure, diabetes? No, from what I know, I'm very healthy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you do a uh, workout? I do, I do work out, but I've been trying to gain weight, so I haven't been working out as lately. <laughs> do you have surgery done? Yes, you did my first BBL. Actually, yes. yes. Your face, I remember. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, you did yes. my first BBL and then I had my boobs then. Okay, mm -hmm. how long was that? Um, it was when I was 27, so it's been about almost two years, maybe. Okay. Because mm -hmm. okay. yeah, I had it on my birthday, so on July 13th, it'll be two years. Oh, perfect. Mm -hmm. um, are you taking medicines for something? Um, I've been taking my vitamins, um, like my iron pills, my bromelain for the past three Perfect. days. And then, um, I'm not gonna lie, I do take Xanax, but I don't take like, I don't abuse it for my anxiety. So, okay. I haven't taken any today though. Okay. Do you do allergies for medications or food? Mm -mm. Okay. No allergies. And now, what would you like? Oh, this so, time? so this time what I'm going for, okay, let me just stand up and show okay, you. <laughs> show me. So, you did really good. You see, my booty looks good, yeah. but my hip dips came back. Okay. So there's more of this time, just more, more hips. Yeah, more to sell in this time. Okay. Uh, and to complete all your record, and okay. if everything is good, can you show you will be tomorrow? Okay. Yeah. Do you have questions? Yes. So how much extra will it be to do the fat from my arms? I th I think it's six hundred. Six hundred yeah. extra. Yeah. Okay, and so I'm trying to think. If I should go ahead and do my thighs too. If you want to choose both, I can give you uh, it's the same price, uh, 600, 600. I can give you the discount for 200. In total, would be so 1,000. I'm trying to think. What if we on the fat? It would be like right in here. This, you that, that part. Yeah. Because your legs looks good, that mm -hmm. this part is together, it's mm -hmm. tough. I'm trying to think. I've never had lipo on my legs before. I can um. use the same incision here. I, oh. I want the new one. Okay, okay. Well, let me think. Think about it. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Since, because I need, because I know I probably don't have too much fat. Yes. yes. So, yeah, I'll do the... You do the Healthy and thin woman, mm -hmm. and you, you have the liposuction. Right, right. Okay, so. cool. So I didn't bring any extra cash, though. Um, you can bring to or to you and give okay. it to me before surgery. No okay. problem. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. Thank you so That's much. It's a pleasure to see you again, mm -hmm. sweetie. So <laughs> me too. Have a good day. Thank you. I'll see you soon. See you. Hey, y'all. Uh, I just got back to my private room at the recovery house. I'm about to take a shower and go eat. I can't eat after 11. My surgery is in the morning. I have to be there at 5.30 a.m. I completed all of my tests. My lungs are super healthy, which I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of shocking and it honestly makes me feel really good. I can't wait to get home and smoke some more weed. Cause girl, honestly, it's like to know that my weed smoking is not affecting my lungs. Thank you, Jesus. And my heart looked good. It made me feel good when he said a beautiful girl with a beautiful heart. I was like, oh, thank you. And I passed my lung test, my blood test. So everything is good. I'm ready to go. I'm going to shower, freshen up, go upstairs and say hi to everybody and eat. Because I am honestly haven't been speaking to anybody. I've been in my room the whole time I've been here. So I'm a big loner. And I don't know, I didn't really come here to be, I don't know. This is how I am. I like to just stay to myself. Yeah, girl, let me hop in the shower. And I'll check in with y'all when I get upstairs to go eat. 
unlock my door real quick. Alright, now we're gonna go upstairs to go eat. I'm starving, honestly, my hair. <laughs> Hold on. So I'm starving. I have not ate all day. Um, I, I had like a little bit of something to eat. Thank, someone was so sweet, y'all, out here and bought me something to eat and a Sprite. I thought that was so nice because he literally did not have to do that. And I was offering him. Hold on. And I was offering him money. Like, here's some money. You no, know, thank you. You don't have to pay for it for me. Because she was telling me how much it cost, but she was saying it in Spanish. And my phone wasn't working, so I couldn't tr convert the dollar amount she was talking to to the U.S. dollar. And there was this nice guy. He got me something to eat. I'm following him on Instagram, too, now. Oh, that was so nice. I gave him a hug. I think I stunk a little bit, too. <laughs> because I'm not going to lie. I put deodorant on this morning. But for some reason, the deodorant did not stick, girl. So y'all list a nice deodorant down below that lasts, like, actually 72 hours. But it was hot this today. But I'm going to go in here and eat with them. And if it's safe to have the camera in there, I will. But if the girls are out healing, I'm not. But I'll talk to y'all here in a few. Alright y'all, so I'm up here. I'm waiting for one of the nurses to come so I can ask them if I get something to eat. The view is so cute. It looks like it's gonna rain. I honestly love it here because it reminds me of home. So I kind of feel like I'm at home. But I'm gonna check in with y'all here in a few. I'm gonna watch this video I just posted. Hey y'all, what's pop lock and drop and it's your girl Melija checking in with you. So I just got done eating up there with the girls. I, like I said, I have respect for people. I'm not gonna put my camera in their face while they're healing. Uh, hold on, the speakers are too loud. Let me go over here. But I honestly just wanted to come up to the pool. So I'm in my bed right now, my room. 
there's probably a noise in the background i'm wash i'm drying my house shoes because they were all wet for me going to the pool i'm about to go ahead and get ready to lay it down i popped me a tylenol pm because i'm just really anxious right now and y'all know i'm a herb smoker and i don't have no herb with me so my body's kind of used to smoking herb in order to you know relax and go to sleep so that's why i popped a tylenol pm to calm my nerves so i can relax and get my butt to bed because i have to be up at 5 30 a.m because the doctor starts surgery at 6 a.m so i'm gonna wake up around five shower i can't oh i'm not supposed to drink or eat anything else right now it's 11 so it's 11 so i can no longer drink i just drank the rest of my sprite <laughs> i can no longer drink anything else for the rest of the night which is cool i could do that and i'll wake up get ready take a shower with my hip cleanse i'm like really anxious like i'm not anxious as far as like nervous or scared just anxious i'm kind of like really excited because it was cool seeing my doctor again after a while he right he remembered me which i thought was really cool you know he did a really good job with my first bbl my butt is sitting nice but my hips is my hip dips came back we decided well he decided that because after you get lipo you have fibrosis and so most of the fat that i have um i don't have too much fat so he decided that he could do lipo on my arms which there's definitely some fat there um and my thighs so i actually paid an extra it was 600 for the arm lipo and the thigh lipo both not 600 for both of them but 600 each is what i mean so 600 for the arm lipo 600 for the thigh lipo but he said you know for discount he would do $200 off and just do a thousand, so 500 for each. And I was like, you know what? I want as much hip and booty as I could get. And I mean, I don't mind getting this fat sucked out because I'm tired of looking at it anyway on my arms, so let's do it. So I zelled him an extra thousand dollars. So I'm getting arm lipo, thigh lipo, 360 lipo plus BBL. I've never had my arms or thighs lipo. Girl, I'm kind of a little nervous because that means I'm gonna be in more pain. Oh my God. I'm perky that. <laughs> perk 10, I just popped up perk 10. Perk 30, I just popped up perk 30 in. Perk 60, I just popped two perk 30s. Perk 10, let me do my perk 10. Someone bought me something to eat. Oh, that was really sweet because I have money. I think I told y'all about that though. I did tell y'all about that in the elevator. That's about all. I'm about to go to get, get in the bed. I hope I can go to sleep because I'm like kind of excited. My body finna be on 10, on 10, on 20, on 30. Oh, 40, two more 60s, two more hundreds. <laughs> hey, bye. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> it's time. So scared. Oh, sh I gotta pay one of my bills. Hold on. I gotta pay my rent <laughs> for my other apartment. Where's my phone at? All right, y'all paid my rent <laughs> for my other apartment. Totally forgot to. Not even tripping because I got blessed not having to pay my rent for my apartment in Dallas. All right, y'all, so uh, got all that together. I'm about to get in the shower, wash off with my HIPAA cleanse. Let me show y'all what's so, I'm gonna just do this real fast because I'm gonna be in surgery and I don't really care what I look like. So your HIPAA cleanse looks like this. And I'm gonna just wash off real quick with some hot water and go downstairs and meet my driver. He's already on his way. I'm gonna go ahead and get my bed ready too because I'm gonna be in here and I'm not gonna obviously wanna be making my bed. Ooh, y'all, I'm nervous. I'm excited, nervous, excited, anxious, like all that and in between. I'm taking my purse, with my passport, lip gloss, got a little extra cash in there, taking my shades. My hair is what it is. I kind of brushed it out last night. I'm not really about to do my hair right now because we're going to have surgery. So it doesn't really matter what my hair looks like. That's good enough. I think we need this brush up of being tried with. Shoes at the dry machine. Dried my pink flip flops, my house shoes because they were wet last night when I went to the pool. Turn the AC on, make sure it's on, because I'm not gonna be hot when I get up in here. I got to go. Gotta be there before six. Earrings, don't need them. 
charger. I'm grab charger just in case my phone is dead. And I would bring my big camera, but I'm honestly not gonna bring it. I was gonna bring my big camera, but it's just too big, and I feel like my little camera is good enough. So I'm honestly not going to bring it. I got everything else though: my battery charger, my fan. Y'all come in. Y'all gonna get in the suitcase or y'all gonna get in the pocket? Which one y'all want? I right, pocket. I need y'all in my pocket because we gotta be ready to go. Okay. So mad I can't have no water. I'm thirsty as hell. Okay, I up the roll on him, but I'm trying to catch a case. Up the roll on him, but I'm trying to catch a case. Alright. Let's go. Get into this new body. I'm ready. I got my BBL pillow. Got my vitamins that I'm gonna need. Oh, they're over there, so I'm not gonna need them until I get here. I got me some electrolytes, my overnight gown, my compression socks, my isolation gown, my BBL pillow, and my pain meds are in here. Alright, y'all. Let's go. surgery prepare room they have to prepare me for my surgery it's like five it's six a.m now i'll check in with y'all soon <sighs> what's pop lock and drop me y'all it's your girl checking in with you so i got it a surgery about maybe not even an hour ago i'm in somewhat pain uh the pain is it was at first a 10 but now it's about like a seven It's your girl checking in with you. So I just got out of surgery about an hour ago. My pain, I was really cold. Um, you can go back to my first BBL video to see how you look when you wake up from anesthesia. They did things a little differently this time. They waited to bring me here until I actually woke up from anesthesia. I was really, really sh I was shaking so bad. I started crying too. I wasn't crying because I was sad. I guess I was just so thankful that everything went really good. I got a little frustrated with the nurses earlier. Girl, look. I was about to get out the bed and like charge them up because I needed my bags. They finally brought them to me because I was raising hell behind it mainly because like my phone's in my bag, my pain pills are in my bag. I highly recommend getting all your own vitamins and pain pills before you come here because they will try to charge you and it's gonna be a lot, like 450 for like the vitamins, pills and all that. And it's literally like only about uh, maybe a hundred bucks on Amazon with like all the vitamins and creams and stuff. And then I got my Percocets and Hydros from a friend for free, thankfully. Um, I recommend getting your own pain pills also because they'll charge you extra out here. So I didn't get a pain pump. All I have is an IV and um, I got mad earlier also because my IV was out. My drip was completely empty and I was just like, hello, like, can I get my bags? Why do y'all have this IV in me if there's nothing in it? Like, I just got out of surgery. Like, I, I don't care if I just got out of surgery. I will get up out this bed and go downstairs and get my own bags. My pain pills are in my bags. I'm not going to take any pain pills right now though because I haven't ate or drank and if I take a Percocet, I will throw it up. 
So um, right now I'm just sucking it up. The pain was really bad earlier, like I could not stand it, I was crying. But it wore off and it's a lot easier now to um, to manage. My private nurse from the recovery house is on her way. She's gonna, I'm giving her $100 to be my overnight nurse. And then I'm just gonna tip her throughout my stay because I took care of myself my last BBL, as some of y'all may know, um, because the recovery house was not good. So I ended up having to take care of myself and just hiring a nurse to come and check on me every now and then. I'm meant to help me empty my dream. I just realized I don't have a dream. Oh shit, I think I'm bleeding on my hair. Oh, I didn't even realize I was bleeding. <laughs> There's blood all over here. But, um, yeah, I don't have a dream, so, huh. That's strange. I don't know. Um, but I'm excited to see, um, what he did and how he made me look. My hips look real nice. I mainly was going for hip and booty and just slim my waist. So I'm really excited to see how it looks and... I'm ready to eat and drink some water. My lashes are done for. <laughs> I was crying and stuff. But, um, yeah. So, I have this on because I got arm lipo. My arms don't feel too sore. And I also got thigh lipo. Um, girl, but tell me why. I think I woke up during my surgery. I don't know. I swear I think I woke up during my surgery, but they hurried up and put me back to sleep. I remember it, it hurt so bad, and that's what woke me up. I don't know, I could've sworn I woke up. And then after the surgery, girl, that was the worst pain I ever felt in my life. Them picking my body up and moving me to the beds and stuff, like me and the other girl were just like, uh, uh, uh. like we were screaming like, oh my God, I'm in pain, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. Thankfully, one of the doctors came and gave me some pain, a shot of some pain stuff. This time is really different though. This time is not like last time. Like last time they came in and would shoot me some pain meds into my IV. So I guess they switched around a lot the way they do they do things, which is okay. I don't I don't really mind. I don't care. But I don't have a drain, so I'm really confused. It doesn't give drains anymore. I don't know. But Oh, shit. Oh, sorry, I'm over here on my phone. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Oh, and one more thing. I want I want to thank y'all so much for all of the prayers and for all the love and for all the support. Like I really love y'all girls so much. Like y'all don't even understand. It's so nice to have love from people that you don't even know and just like Y'all are so supportive of me, like, <laughs> that shit just really means a lot to me, <laughs> how I inspire y'all, and, because my background is not the best, and so it's just so nice that y'all look to me for inspiration and motivation, and <laughs> y'all pray for me and stuff, and <sighs> I really appreciate that, so... <laughs> I love y'all girls so much. <laughs> and I'm gonna see y'all soon. Y'all, guess what? 
I got out of surgery or whatever, I'm fine. Like, I'm literally fine. I could walk, I could sit up, I could, you know, move around. I'm good till I get to my recovery house. So, my recovery house sent me an overnight nurse. And then, you know, um, I was kind of half asleep and I asked her how much money is it? It's $100. When I officially woke up, I started asking questions like, um, oh, my arm is bleeding bad in the back for some reason. She wants $100. I'm just wondering, what do you want $100 for? Like, what do I need you for? Are you changing my bandages? Are you switching out my faha? You know, what are you doing? What do I need you for as an overnight nurse? You know, her response to me was, you know, anything you need, what do you need? And that's when I, I texted my coordinator and I was just like, you know, I don't feel comfortable giving somebody $100 just to watch me. Do you, do, you, do you understand what I'm saying? I don't give someone, I don't feel comfortable giving somebody $100 to hand me waters and to ask me how I'm feeling. Do you see? They're taking out in the morning my IV and my catheter that they have in me so I can use the restroom. If she's not doing that, then what do I need her for? What am I paying her for? I should be paying the nurses here that have the IV and the catheter in me. I'm not giving someone $100 just to watch me. I spent enough money and 1300 at that recovery house for 10 days and I'm only going to be there healing for about five. Go to your assist. Okay, so he just came in and uh, that's fine if they would they are if it's mandatory someone comes with me then they need to have someone come watch me then why should I have to pay to have someone watch me if mandatory that y'all have to have someone watch the patient then bring one of y'all nurses in here I have a recovery house that I paid $1,300 for. I'm not paying somebody $100 to give me waters and ask me, are you okay? I literally just asked her, are you taking my faja off tonight? She literally said in Spanish, she translated on her phone, I can't touch you until the doctor like says so. So what are you here for? Like, I'm not paying you. If you can't touch me till the morning, I'll pay, give you 50 bucks in the morning to help me change my faja. I'm not paying her. I don't even have a drain. You don't have to change my drain. You don't have to do anything. I'm not giving you $100. No, I'm gonna give you a $20 tip in the morning, but no. Absolutely not. Nope, I'm broke. All right, y'all, so they finally left me alone, which I highly appreciate because I was going to end up cussing somebody out in English because I'm tired of, this is the second time I've obviously had a BBL and last time, like y'all know, if you watched my journey, the first one, right after surgery, I was asked for $1,000. And so after this surgery, I'm asking, people are asking me to pay for a nurse. It's like, no, mm -mm, I'm not green. I'm not green. I could stand up and walk myself. I can grab my own waters. So I guess I told him I was, when I told him, I was like, I'm broke, you know, I'm broke. I'm not, I have no money, so now what? It wasn't in no paperwork. I didn't sign anything. This is a price y'all just threw out there because of how I've been carrying myself this entire trip. So it may seem like I'm just here handing out money. No, I just paid two, two rents, 1100 for my flight here. But yeah, I'm not dishing out money. So I'm glad they left me alone because the nurses are coming in here doing their job. What do I need somebody sitting right here and just staring at me for? We don't even speak the same language. It's gonna be awkward. No, she's not just gonna stand there and sit, stare at me. Like, that's weird. So I just told her if she wants to be my, I told my coordinator, if she wants to be my recovery house nurse, she can. But I mean, even then I'm just going to tip her. I'm not going to go above and beyond for nothing. I paid $1,300 for the place I'm at, the recovery house. Paid a whole month's worth of rent for six days of recovering. And she, I took a screenshot. She said, your recovery house nurse is covered. So all y'all getting is a tip, 20 to $40 tip. Like, shit, just like I had to work for my money, you gotta work for your money too. But doing your job does not mean I have to dish out hella tips. You feel me? Like, it's covered, fine. I'm not paying enough, else, so I'm not. $1,300 for six days of healing. And I've been there just, eating I haven't been in nobody's space you know I've just been to myself so turn the lights off and stuff so no I'm not paying them my money but um other than that everything's great my pain level is like a two right now I'm ready to eat so I could take one of my perks. I'm about to get up and walk around a little bit, but I have my catheter in me, so I don't know if I can get up. And if y'all don't know what a catheter is, girl, look it up. <laughs> I don't need a diaper. I could just pee right now, and it's gonna go through this straw. Let me see if I could pee. I think I'm peeing. That's the thing about a catheter. You don't know if you're peeing or not. Cause this catheter is full of piss, but I don't remember peeing. So I guess the moment you have to pee, it immediately just soaks it out. I don't know. That's kind of cool though. 
when I get old and can no longer control my bladder, I want a catheter. So just put it in me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, girl, I'm just chilling, waiting for my arm to stop bleeding. My arm was bleeding really bad from the arm lipo. Did I tell y'all I woke up during surgery? I don't know if I did or not, but I, girl, I woke up during surgery. Sure did. My doctor, lucky he's a good doctor because I would tell on his ass. Well, I did just tell on him, but not in a bad way. It's not like I woke up and was like, oh my God, you know what I mean? So I'm guessing from the thigh lipo, that's where I remember me getting woken up from. I think it was so much pain that the pain woke me up. It was waking me up out of anesthesia. But literally I remember waking up and feeling something going in me and I was like, ah. And I just went right back to sleep. Next time I woke up was them putting me. Next time I woke up was um someone was screaming at me. They were like, wake up, wake up, wake up. At first I was like, damn, am I wake up? <laughs> so I woke up. They moved me from one bed to the other bed. That was <gasps> out. Oh shit, I got a hiccup. Oh no. Mm -mm. <gasps> they moved me from one bed to the other. That was the most painful. Getting picked up. While you're like, girl, I started crying afterwards. Not crying because they were moving me in the pain. I was crying. I was just so happy that everything was fine and that I was back, you know, and nothing went wrong. It's not like I was ever scared of dying or anything going wrong. But when you wake up and you're like, you know, yes, like just relief, you know, that just, you know, it's a nice feeling that he did an amazing job again. And um, the nurses were very nice holding my hands, you know, caressing my forehead and just making me feel better. I really, really appreciated that because when you're out here by yourself, trying to look better, get a better body, and having to go through invasive surgery. You know, it could be mentally wearing on you, especially when you're alone. And you know, the, you don't speak the language of the people here. So that was very nice. But um, I remember another girl was in there also screaming. She was, ah, we both were like, oh my God. And we weren't even saying words. We were just like, ah, ah. Like we were both awake. It was crazy. We were, I looked over, I heard her. I was like, ah. It's an, I was like, it's another girl in here. And I started screaming, I'm in pain, I'm in pain. And then some lady came over and gave me a shot in my IV. She says, tranquil, no, I think it's tranquil, tranquila, tranquila. I, was, I think that means calm down. Well, I'm having a deja vu moment right now. And then my pain went away. And uh, yeah, so now I'm here. The pain set in, I'm feeling fine, I'm just hungry. I hope they're not gonna try to not feed me because I don't want to pay that nurse. I wonder. I'm gonna see here in a minute. I'm starving. Bought me some tea that really helped because at first I felt like I was like, dang, did he poke my heart? <laughs> because my chest was hurting. I had like an air bubble in my chest. Um, but when it's for, from inflammation. So after surgery, you could have inflammation. They bring you the tea to help with the inflammation. And the herbal tea she brought me immediately, like the air pocket went away. And I put on my own compression socks, y'all. Look. <laughs> you, can, you can barely see but yeah I put on my own compression socks which I probably shouldn't have done but I just wanted to do it for myself to show myself that I'm not weak and I'm strong and I'm okay and I don't need to be babysat somebody else probably needs to be babysat but I don't need to be babysat I just need to be checked on and I'm fine I'm a big girl I'm hungry I'm gonna get up though cause she put my bag over there I don't know why she didn't mean to though she didn't know any better And it has my electrolyte packs in it. So I'm about to get up here in a second. I don't know how I'm gonna do that though, because I have a catheter in me. I don't know if I can stand up with this in me. I want my electrolytes. Thirsty if I'm not gonna eat, I need something to drink. I don't wanna drink that water by itself. I want an electrolyte with it. I'm hoping somebody comes in within the next couple hours so I can tell me from my back. I'm gonna check in with y'all here in a few. Um, I'm gonna take a nap. And if I don't check in with y'all in a few, I'm going to check in with y'all when I get to stand up so y'all can see my booty, my booty, and my hips. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to y'all soon. Mm -hmm.
So y'all, they're still trying to convince me to get an overnight nurse. And if I get one, she's getting paid how she should get paid. I'm not gonna just give somebody a hundred dollars because they're watching me, you know what I mean? It doesn't make sense. Y'all have nurses here. I don't feel like spending no more extra money for no fucking reason. Just like um, they had me do another test. And that person feel like I gave the doctor fifty dollars for no reason. For him just to I feel like if I have to do a test and I have to pay for an extra test to see if there's something wrong with me and there's nothing wrong with me, I should get my money back. Because why am I paying for tests when I already know there's nothing wrong with me? I feel like this is just a way of y'all getting more money. I don't know. Could be wrong. But I just don't feel like paying her a dime, honestly. I don't need her. I don't even get to stand up till tomorrow when the when the nurse takes the IV out of me. So what do I need her for? She's not doing my I, I still don't get it. I just can't say one so she said I can't sleep by myself through the night. I've been sleeping by myself this whole time. What's the difference? If something was gonna bad happen, it it would be happening now, not just in the nighttime it's gonna happen. You feel me? It's like you see young flies with the mama. She wasn't found in the night. She was found during the day. If something bad's gonna happen to you, it's gonna happen. It doesn't matter if it's day or night. Mm -mm. I'm tired of dishing out money. Like I've dished out enough. I wish they would just leave me alone with it. You shouldn't have to get out of surgery and be greeted with a bill when you've already paid your, du your dues. I've paid all my dues. Why every time I get out of surgery, I'm trying to bring more bills to me. Like, mm -mm. I'm just gonna tell them next time they ask, if y'all want me to have an overnight nurse, that's fine, but I don't have any more money. All the money I spent, I spent $1,500 for my recovery house. I don't have any more money. I gave him $6,500 instead of $5,500. I'm broke. I have five dollars. She wants five dollars. No, my accounts. I spent all my money. They asked me for PayPal, Zelle, Cash App. I'm gonna say no. I went over on my limit. I've spent all I can spend. Buena, compromiso. Si, por favor. Gracias, mamá. Si, mamá, lleva un ratito bien una soca. Gracias. Do you see my point? Do you see my point? If all these women are doing their job, why do I need to pay somebody else to sit here and watch me? No, I'm not green. I'm not stupid. Let me pay one of those nurses $100. I will give each one of them $100. They're doing a great job. I'm not gonna give somebody $100 to sit here. Sorry, boo, don't get that good over here. I work hard for my money. You want some of my money, you need to work hard too. Stomach. I got a little tingly sensation. Yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. Y'all made me cry earlier. Like, y'all are so amazing. And I'm, I know they say cancers are crybabies, but we're really not. Taurus is our crybabies. Taurus women cry in public. Look at Khloe Kardashian. She's a cancer. I've never met a cancer woman that cries publicly. We feel a lot inside, because we're soft inside. Not like a pussy, but we feel a lot. On the out exterior, we have a hard shell, though. We are hard as fuck. You don't see cancer women crying, ever. I don't ever see no cancer person crying publicly in front of people. So the fact that y'all just made me cry, like that means a lot. That means that y'all actually have touched my soul. And I hope that means something to y'all. Hey, babies. I forgot to check in with y'all when I got my soup. It was good, it was just potatoes and corn. I just took my first perk. Not the whole thing, I only bit half. Um, I don't know, I feel kind of funny. I need to get up and walk around. My leg is feeling numb. Honestly, y'all, I'm gonna take a nap and I will check in with y'all, if not in the middle of the night, in the morning when I get going to my recovery house. I just wanna rest, I just wanna sleep, you know? So, talk to y'all later. Ooh, that feels weird. <laughs> when the catheter moves inside your vagina. My hip is, um, my hip is hipping. So that's good. You gave me them hips. I wanted some hip. I can't wait to see how big my booty is. Excited, excited. 
Good morning, y'all. So the doctor came in and checked on me. I really appreciate that. Asking for help or going to therapy was a sign of weakness, especially. Um, the nurse is about to come in here and draw blood for me to see my hemoglobin levels. I'm low-key tired of getting sticked with a needle. I don't want to give no blood. I'm tired of being in pain. She has to come draw blood to see my hemoglobin levels. I'm hoping this is the last time I have to get a shot or a needle in me. I'm just scared to give blood because I have not ate anything. I think I'm going to pass out. I stink. I'm talking about I smell bad. Like, I guess it's because this catheter is in my vagina. But I don't know. It smells really bad. Like I cannot wait to shower and get this catheter out and brush my teeth. I don't know why they bring a toothbrush. I can't even think about it. My breath is horrible. <laughs> I'm just being honest. <laughs> my breath is horrible. And because I threw up, you know what I mean? And I smell bad. I cannot wait to go to my recovery house so I can shower and eat something. I'm gonna drink. Well, I was being a pussy because that didn't even hurt. <laughs> it just drew my blood, my hemoglobin levels. My hand is hurting. Can't really hold nothing with that. I just really hope she does not have to come in here and stab that thing again. It's like when they put something in your IV, you could feel it going in your vein. <sighs> Talk about beauty is pain. I'm ready to see this ass. I don't even know why I'm laying down. I shouldn't even be laying down my ass, right? I don't know. I was supposed to do this breathing thing here. That thing right there is like a tube at the end of it. And you breathe in it and it has balls. And when you breathe in, the balls jump up. So you have to breathe in hard enough to the balls to get up to a certain level to make sure your lungs are okay. Thankfully, I wasn't I made to do that. I guess, you know, my lungs were really good. So that's awesome, honestly, because I smoke weed every day. I had some CBD while I was here. I honestly was gonna go buy some liquor when I was at one of my appointments and I got some food. There was liquor in there, girl. I was so tempted to buy a bottle. But I knew I had been surgery. It's nothing really to see, I guess. I don't know. Just really need to eat something. I want to take one of my pain pills. I took a pain pill last night. Half a Percocet, but I threw it up. I don't think I pulled my camera out when I threw up. I should have. Y'all, I, I don't know. I sat this up or I put it down. I don't know which one it was, but my stomach upset. I immediately threw up because I didn't really have none but soup. My lips are dry. I can't like pick up my purse with ah, I can't even hold my camera with this other hand. <sighs> oh fuck. Damn, I wish I had some gum or something. My breath is hot as but you see what I was talking about about um not needing to pay a private nurse. I didn't need one. These ladies took great care of me. If I'm gonna pay anybody, I'm gonna pay them. I mean, yeah, I threw up. I'm not gonna lie. When I threw up, I was like, ugh. Now I'm gonna like be talking shit about, see, this is why you're supposed to have a nurse. And in fact, they did, one of them. The um, lady who's been in here with the IV, she walked in and I was laying on my side. And I was like, ooh, I threw up right there. Like, it was like an hour went by before somebody came in. So she cleaned it up, but in Spanish, she was like, see, you need a nurse. <laughs> I was like, man. I was hoping nothing happened, so I wouldn't have to hear the shit talk, but I don't feel like I needed to pay her anything. I'm fine. I've been fine all night. I mean, I had a couple issues. Like, they put my water way over here. So last night I woke up and I was so thirsty, but my water was way over there. I was like, oh, MG. And the thing is, I'm sorer than my first BBL because I got arm lipo and thigh lipo. So my shit is sore. I just really want to get up and look in the mirror. I think I'm about to do that. I think I could get up by myself, honestly. I'm gonna try. And I feel really bad. I was talking rude to my friend last night. It was four o'clock in the morning. I didn't feel like hearing about drama on at four o'clock in the morning while I'm in pain, you know? Where'd my phone go? Oh, where's my phone? Shower, man. Um, checking my 
notifications. I can't believe y'all made me cry yesterday. It had to have been the anesthesia. <laughs> I'm joking. I really do love y'all. I feel really, really bad that the women have died from this procedure. It sucks. You go in for a nice body and not wake up and not know you're dead. That sucks. They didn't get to say goodbye to their people. It's just not fair. I'm alive and doing well. Surgery went really good. Thank you to everyone who's been checking up on me. And kept me in their prayers because it worked. I really appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all soon. It saddens my heart to know people died from this procedure. Because all you want is a nice body. And you don't even wake up. I remember them screaming to me, wake up, wake up, wake up. I think that's why I started crying. I was so happy that everything went well. I can't believe DC Young Black's baby mama died from this. It sucks that you have doctors that literally don't know what they're doing and still have a license to be able to go inside and operate on you. And that's also why I gave y'all my doctor. Because if y'all want to come do this, you're going to do it regardless with or without my help. But with my help, it's going to be better. That's why I decided to get my doctor finally. I mean, he did my first BBL. Some girl had commented, which I found it very hilarious. I think she said, girl, stop. Um, I can't remember word for word. She's like, girl, stop. The first doctor messed up. And blah, 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 blah. Which y'all have all seen my body for this BBL. So nobody messed up on anything. And, and it's like, people are so weird. It's like, how do you go in your head and make stuff up? This is why you don't got no man. Because you're delusional. You have a mental illness. When you do have a, when any man that's ever wanted you, you be going in your head and making things up. So I don't nobody want you. You feel me? You can tell who and doesn't have, who does and who doesn't have a man by the things that they comment. It's like, y'all be giving y'all's own personal problems up when y'all project that type of energy. It's like, how, where's, what first BBL doctor? This is the only BBL doctor I've ever had. First and second. First time I didn't give my doctor because I just didn't want to. Right? And I don't have to. I know people were like, oh, that's not fair. Life ain't fair. Life ain't fair. You don't see Kylie Jenner sitting down telling you what doctor she had? And that's the main reason why I didn't do that either, because I don't have to. Life ain't fair. Oh, the mama cat really came back because her baby was meowing? You're not for the streets, Priscilla. Boy, I swear I'm pissed off. I'm not even finna. I'm just gonna go to sleep. Look at this shit that they just brought me. Look at this shit they just brought me. What the fuck is this? What the fuck is that? Why would I eat this? I haven't ate. All I had was soup. And y'all gonna bring me this shit? Like, bro. What in the hell? Do you see? Look at this. Who the fuck gonna eat that? Got me fucked up. I haven't ate all day, and that's what y'all gonna bring me? <sighs> wow. And you see why I ain't paying for no fucking private nurse. Got me all the way fucked up. That's ridiculous.
the nurse is here with me. I just got out of the shower. I feel so much better. I felt so disgusting. She's washing my faha. My body looks good, I'm not gonna lie. He, he did the hips for sure. But my mouth is dry. I had to drink some water with my flip flops on. Okay, yeah, let's go get my lashes redone. Hey y'all. So, I believe I checked in with y'all after I got out of the shower. Um, I think my lashes are all over the place. That's why I got a mega, because I knew they were gonna start coming off. And I didn't wanna do natural, because if they were gonna come off, they would look like I had nothing done. So my bruising is here. Got arm lipo. Got my pads in. He gave me good hips, so I'm happy about that. My booty looking right. Of course, you won't be able to see this until the swelling goes down. But she just washed my faha. I'm glad my arms are not bleeding. Any oh wait, you can kind of see it a little bit. It's kind of bleeding a little, but not that bad. Is this one bleeding? No. I just took one half of my Percocet. I'm going to go ahead and get ready to lay down. And, um, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get back so I can get them redone. I'm gonna worry about my lashes, girl. <laughs> this video more than likely won't be up until I get back to Dallas. Cause I kinda wanna just get everything for y'all. I feel a lot better. I'm not nauseous anymore and throwing up. So that's good because I threw up my Percocets already twice, meaning that I didn't eat enough. Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and get my butt in the bed, y'all, and go to sleep. I'm sore. Super sore. And I like my nurse. She's real pretty and she's very sweet. Her name is Rosario. I think that's beautiful. All right, here's my avocado bed. I'm gonna put this in there too because I bet my butt's still touching a little bit. And I'm still watching me some Netflix with my heat blanket. I'm actually gonna put my, I'm gonna keep my water with me.
Is he, uh, Hey y'all, it's your girl Malaysia. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be one of the first to be notified when I drop a new vlog. Don't forget, scared feet don't eat and a closed mouth won't get fed.